What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back this time at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City. And, and, and I bought one sight unseen. I usually don't do that. Very rarely do I ever buy sight unseen anymore, but I, I, I mean, look at it. Look at it. I won the bid for $600. $600. And it's supposed to run and drive? 600 bucks, clean title? You kidding me? Now, full disclosure, they counterbid me at 900. And I thought about it and I said, do I really want to lose this deal over 300 bucks? Nah, let's go ahead and do it. So I dropped $900 on it, came out to 12 or 13, whatever the case may be. And here it is. We have a BMW Z3. So we brought the Ram with us today and we did not bring a trailer. So that's dangerous. Sight unseen and we have no trailer. <laughs> And we have a long, long way to go. We're going to take this, assuming that it actually does run. It says that it runs and drives, but like I said, I didn't come out here and look at this. I have no idea what's going on with this car. I don't even know what year it is. It's a 99. It's a 99 Z3. And apparently, Advanced Remarketing Services is like a finance company. They do a lot of repossessions and stuff as well. So I, I looked at the title. It's a clean title, and the last owner had it up in Edmond for eight years. So I'd, I'd find it hard to believe that it got repoed. I don't know what the deal is with it, but we're gonna do our first walk around of it real quick. And the first thing I noticed in the pictures was all of this. That comes off, thank God. I thought that was damaged paint. Next, this looks fairly recent. That looks fairly recent. She's got a nice little, well, it's not nice. It actually kind of sucks, but it's got a nice little dent right here. I don't know. Maybe that's easily fixed. Maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, look, you can fit this whole car in the screen so easily. Let's see what kind of tires we got and what kind of tread we got. They are uh, two 25-50-16s, and they got some really, really good tread. These are Nexons. Nexons in Priz. AH8. All right, rotors look good too. Take a look at those rotors. Very nice. Take a look back here. Hopefully we're working with a set. Yep, necks and tires with, can I get some, can I show you the tread there? Very, very good tread as well on the back. And look at those beautiful rotors. All right, so far, so good. I'm impressed. She looks pretty decent. Yep, we got the same tire over here. A full set of matching tires. You guys know how I am about tires, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of particular about my tires. Let's see if we could pop the uh, little trunk back here. What do we got? What do we got back here? Okay, some wires. Cool, I guess. This looks like this goes under the steering column. Boy, that's a little concerning. Plastic pieces. Plastic pieces, oh boy. And a Duralast gold battery. And the battery terminals are disconnected. We have our tool kit, and it looks like everything is there. Every part of the tool kit appears to be there. Okay, I wonder why they had this disconnected. That's, that's a little concerning, is it not? Well, let's go ahead and just Throw that back on, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna assume the battery's probably dead. Maybe it's got some kind of a drain. She's a little dirty. Eh, the seat's seen better days. She's coming apart there. Door panels, not too bad. It is filthy though, it is. Little ashtray right there. Got a couple of keys. Ugh. All right, it is a manual and it is dead as a doornail, of course. All right. I'm assuming it's just a five speed. Where's reverse? <laughs> Great, I don't know where reverse is. I think that's reverse. 
yeah, there's reverse. Okay, reverse is way over and up, and then you got first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, e-brake works. Some broken plastic, boy. Genuine BMW quality, right? Looks like a manual top. We should go ahead and just open that now, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know we got to do that. Got to do that. Pop the hood. Hopefully that popped. Let's put this top down real quick. Oh, that's super easy. Oh, we got a some broken broken plastics right there. Oh, that's nice. That's what the hell? What is this? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Woo, hopefully none of this comes apart while I'm driving. Good lord. It's not a bad looking car on the outside interior though. Looks like she needs a little bit of a little bit of, of love. Okay. Anybody tell me where the hood release is on one of these because oh, I sure as hell don't know. We'll be back. Okay. I figured it out. For anybody who wants to know, the hood release is right there by the kidney grill on the driver's side. There she is. Like I said, I've never had one of these before. I think this thing's got like 200,000 miles on it. And I guess we could start with, uh, she's got some good hoses. When it comes to a BMW, <laughs> the first thing I always check is coolant. Because inevitably, there's always a coolant issue. Uh-oh. No, she's got coolant. She does. She has coolant. You can see that floater right there. She's got coolant. What is this? This vehicle is equipped with performance software. Before performing an EEPROM update to the engine or if transmission EC or transmission, please call Dynan Engineering? No way. No way, she's got a tune. A Dynan tune? Uh, ho, ho, ho. She's not stock, boys. She's not stock. Oil? Yes. That's, that's about all I could say is yes. It's got coolant. It's got oil. Look at this engine, man. This thing is huge. I mean, you know, for 200,000 miles, not bad. What do you guys think? Let's uh, let's throw a jump on it. It's fired up. Well, it's moment of truth time. I went ahead and hooked the jump pack straight up to the battery in the back there. Tighten down the battery cables. Let's see, we got an Alpine deck in here. And uh, looks like we got a, an auxiliary cable. I guess question number one. Do the windows work? Doesn't do much good to have a convertible if you can't roll the windows down. All right. Okay. We're rolling in style now. 201,000 miles on the odometer. Are you guys ready for this? Ugh. Okay. It's got a clutch. Here we go. It runs. Wow. Okay, we have an airbag light. Transmission feels good. Let's see if she moves. She moves. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. So this probably isn't the, uh, you know, the nicest <laughs> car I've ever won. But I mean, she is sitting here running. Should we try the air conditioning? I, I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna hold out too much hope for that, but we'll go ahead and turn on the AC real quick. Horn works. You got your headlights. I guess we can go ahead and try those out real quick. Let's take a peek and see if the headlights work. There's a button down there. Oh, fog lights are right there. Cruise control is right here. Windshield wipers right here. Turn signals are right there. I mean, she seems to run well. She really does. Power steering works, brakes work, clutch works. Okay, you got headlights? Yes, we do. Fog light, yep. Same thing over here. Let's listen to that engine. Sounds good to me. I know in the video that fan looks like it's not spinning, but in reality, it's it's moving. That fan is spinning just fine. Okay. Well, <laughs> one thing left to do, guys. One thing left to do. Uh, I can't believe I won this for $900. We're gonna take that off the window, throw it in the trunk. That way I can see a little bit better. The alternator is charging, thank goodness. So I guess we can dis, ow, about broke a fingernail right off there. We can disconnect this. I'm gonna let it sit here and charge up this battery for a few minutes. I guess I'll go ahead and just leave this back here in case, you know, something goes wrong. We'll throw this. I bet it won't go down there. Nope, we'll have to put this like, boy, that's that's kind of flimsy. We'll put it right there, I guess. Got brake lights, yep. Yep. 2.3 liter in a straight six, really? That's like the size of a four cylinder with a straight six engine. That's That's bizarre. I don't know, guys, comment below, what do you think? What do you think? I love the color. It'd be nice if we could see the color a little better without all the dust on it. I think it's a slick little car. And since it's a manual transmission, I mean, unless something like it starts overheating or billowing smoke or gushing oil or something out of it, uh, hold on. We didn't have the AC on. I'm going to bet the AC don't work. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Oh, no way. The AC is ice cold. The AC is ice cold. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Uh, the AC works. All right. This, it is kind of nasty in here, though. Like, it needs a lot of interior work, guys. Look, look. look. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. All right, enough horsing around, guys. Let's get her on the road. Let's see what she does. All right, guys. It's that time, I guess. That's reverse, that's first. Okay, sorry, I'm making sure I know what I'm doing with this transmission here. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> she, well, she moved. <laughs> All right, here we go. What was that? Okay. Let's shift to third. That's fifth. <laughs> that's not third, that's fifth. That's third. There we go. Okay, so far so good. I, I'm honestly surprised. I always am. These things, I didn't check this out first. It could overheat. 
it could absolutely overheat. We've experienced that a few times before, driving these uh, sight unseen cars home, sometimes even the ones that we've checked out. Check those gauges, temperature is good. Here it goes. It shifts great, the clutch is strong, the shifter feels good. This is not bad, guys. I, I And the steering wheel, look at this, the steering wheel is straight. We're hitting all kinds of nice, nasty bumps out here. Going 45 miles an hour. I mean, I don't know what more you want for a thousand dollar car, 900 bucks, 900 bucks. What do you want from a $900 car? Other than maybe I should shift it into fourth? I don't know, it, feel, it feels like it really enjoys third. There's fourth gear. A okay, fourth gear, 50 miles an hour, under 2,500 RPMs. Okay, well, I'm not gonna count my chickens before they hatch, but uh, so far, guys, this thing, this thing is awesome. It's a great little car. Let's continue on. We're gonna make our first pit stop at the, uh, the old house, and, uh, you know, we'll check back in here in just a few minutes. Well, we've driven her almost 10 miles now, and my initial impressions are it's an, it's an impressive little car. It truly is. You feel every bump in the road, uh, and it's not like the suspension is bad. It's, it's not. Good Lord. The suspension is not bad on this car, guys. It really is just, you feel everything in this car. Hear that? I don't know what that is. As soon as you hit the gas from a dead stop only, there's this clunking noise that comes from underneath the car, like somewhere over there. I almost bet it's a CV axle on the passenger side rear. I'd, I'd put money on it, but we're going to have to get it on a lift to see that. Um, bumpy roads, like I was saying, you feel every damn bit of it. The wind. <laughs> this this car has got to weigh nothing because the wind blows you around like your paper, you know, just blowing around in a hurricane or something. I mean, it's it, it gets blown around pretty good. But with that said, she does cruise man look at her she's moving down the road just fine no issues i'm in third gear it really loves third gear third gear's a well third gear is a great gear give her a little throttle and she just springs to life man springs to life oh yeah we're getting it guys we are fairly close to the uh i call it the old house we're gonna stop there, just check things out real quick. And then I guess we'll get on the road and get to the new house. And then I guess we take it down to AR headquarters. This should be fun. Well, boys and girls, it looks like she's gonna make it to step one, which is the old house. Not bad, it, it drives great. Except for that clunking when you're first taken off from a dig. Sounds like it's that CV axle in the passenger rear. But aside from that, like no issue, man. None. Look at that. She made it. Now, I think the battery's bad. What is th this thing right here is like, can we just... We don't need we don't need all this plastic crap, man. It's all junk. None of it works. We got a we got a little temperature gauge down there. That's that's nice. I wonder if this Alpine unit work here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't know how to close it, but uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh no, I broke it. Well, it made it here with no real issue other than just uh, that weird clunking noise. I don't know, guys. I'm honestly 
tempted to just send her back to the auction. It runs great. It drives great. I can almost guarantee you it's going to need a CV axle back there. I'm 99% I'm certain that's what it's going to be. The top is a manual top. It's not power and it lifts up and sits down with, well, with ease. That's, there you go. I love it. I love the little thing. And I know there's going to be a lot of people, they always ask, why don't you keep it for yourself? Guys, what am I going to do with this? What, <laughs> what am I going to do with this? It's a decent car. It's a beater for sure. I wouldn't call it a nice car. She's a beater with a heater and an air conditioner and good tires. She runs down the road all right. She drives all right. We've had her up to 60 miles an hour. Clean title, it's not salvage or anything. Although it does have a does have that, a little dent there, but all of this comes off. I guess it wouldn't hurt to maybe wash her up a little bit, clean her up, make her look a little bit nicer. I could take her over the car wash, spray it off real quick. See if we can make it look a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna send this one back to the auction. Who knows, maybe I can make a little bit of money on it. I'm not gonna bet on it. <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. What is this? This is a Oklahoma Christian University faculty staff. So obviously it was a was a teacher's car at some point. I wonder why they got rid of it. Maybe it just maybe it just got to be too old. You know, you hear the cooling fan kicking on and off. I don't trust the battery. We'll find that out here in a minute. We'll check and see if the battery uh, is going to hold up. But listen to it purr. Listen to that. She was kind of tapping earlier. As you can hear now, nothing. Perfectly quiet. That fan is just a spinning. Good pressure on the cooling system. This is nice, guys. I like it. I do. I really, I really do like it. I wish I had time and patience and enough money to keep all the cars that I find that I think would be fun toys because I really think this would be a fun toy. I'm sure it's going to need a few things here and there. I mean, it's an old BMW with 200,000 miles on. Of course, it's going to need a little bit of work. But to find something like this with a good top and good tires, cold air and heat with a good clutch and good brakes and it steers straight down the road for 900 bucks, $900. Insane. And, say, and the radio does work. I got the radio working. I can't figure out how to adjust the bass and treble and everything. The radio does work. I guess I'll take it up the street to the car wash, spray it off, and we'll come back in a minute and uh, see what she looks like. Well, boys and girls, there she is. My shadow's gonna get in the way there. But how about that? She cleaned up nice. Real nice. I had... <laughs> as I always do, all kinds of plans. Number one, well, obviously, obviously need to address that CV axle. That would be number one, but I was gonna send it down to Mako and I was just gonna tell him, man, you know, go ahead and pull this, straighten it out, fill it in, paint and blend this area right here, make it look good. Uh, the top is in good condition. I power washed it and only got a few dribbles on the interior. So the top is in really good shape. I was just going to send it down to Mako, have them fix that rear end, probably put some M-Sport wheels on it and clean the headlights and drive it. That's it. I mean, she she really doesn't need much more than that, guys. Uh, but my voice of reason, also known as, as my fiance, has told me that I, I do this every time with these cars. I end up buying something new and shiny and fun. And then I dump a ton of money, a ton of unnecessary money into it that video content doesn't usually cover. And then I sell it at a loss. <laughs> Nothing like having your fiance tell you this, right? Yeah, uh, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, but <laughs> I have to admit she's right. She's right. She, th she said, the best video content is going to be the fact that you pick something like this up for 900 bucks, that you're able to open and close the top, that you're able to drive it home, that made it, right? You're able to take it to the car wash and clean it up, and, and you're done. You're done. You know, why waste any money on this car that you're never going to be able to get back? We got her done. She's going to go back to auction. I hate to say it, but that's what's going to happen. She's going to go back to auction, guys. 
Uh, now, will it bring more than what I paid for it? Probably not. Probably not. This isn't a hot commodity item, but at least now, at least now, anybody that's looking at bidding on it's going to know that you know you know what you're going to have to deal with. Okay, nasty clunking from that passenger rear wheel. I know there's going to be a CV axle problem back there. I, I just know that. Yeah, I could feel it the way it clunks and grinds, and it only does it from a dead stop. As soon as you start going like five, seven miles an hour, it goes completely away. And then it feels just fine, but from a dead stop, man, you can feel it just kind of binding back there. So that's going to have to be addressed immediately. But the point is, at least anybody interested in bidding on it is now going to know. You know what I mean? You're not bidding on it blindly, hoping that it's going to be decent. You can bid on it knowing that it's got a set of good tires, cold air, the top goes up and down, the windows work, the engine looks to have been well taken care of, it runs absolutely great, cold air, hot heat, power driver's seat works. Uh, there you go. She's an old beater with 200,000 miles, but for the money, a good car. A good car for the money. Put a little bit of work into it, you have you something decent. And it's something you can drive while you fix on it, man. With that, I guess that's it. We're done. This is a one and done video. We we literally bought it, brought it home, washed it, sent it back to auctions. Auto auction car washes. That's right, auto auction car washes. Oh man. We're going to uh we're gonna get out of here. Do me a favor and let me know if you're tired. Oh, my hat's on backwards. Well, I was riding in the convertible with the top down earlier and the, the wind was trying to blow my hat off, so I turned it around. I forgot I even had it on backwards. If you are enjoying the BMW content, let me know, man. Let me know. These aren't cars that I typically would buy. You know, I tend to, <laughs> I tend to stay away from, from uh, you know, BMWs and Mercedes and Jaguars and Land Rovers, but occasionally... I get a, I get an itch, man, and I just got to scratch it. And right now, I, I got this BMW itch. So we picked up, obviously, you've already seen the video, picking up the BMW X5 3.0 SI 2008. You've seen us now pick up the 1999 BMW Z3. There's another one. It's sight unseen. I haven't had a chance to look at it, and I'm not sure if I'll get to, but it's buy it now for 900 bucks. 900 bucks. It's a 2008 BMW X3 3.0 SI. Basically an X5 cut down a little bit, I think. I think that's what. I think it's just a shorter, smaller, more compact BMW X5. It's a non-runner. It has keys. It's got 225,000 miles on it, but it's it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful for $900. $900. I actually won it yesterday, sight unseen, for $600. They counterbid me for 1000 I said no. I stuck to my guns at 600 and apparently they weren't having it. And it's a pedal car. Should we get it? Do you want to see it? Well, drop a comment right now and tell me if you're interested in it. If you guys are liking this BMW content, hit the thumbs up button, man. Let me know and drop a comment below and tell me that you want to see more of it. And, you know, good lord. I'll see what I can do. It's punishment. I, I know it is. So far, we've been lucky. But something tells me if I get that X3, the luck's going to change. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.